Hello everyone, I'm Marina and it's a grammar school. And in today's video, our podologist Olga will tell you all about choosing the right shoes. Here is a tool that we will be using for measurements. It's a Hider foot measuring device with all the foot sizes. And using this device, we can tell the actual foot size. First, in a sitting position. We need to measure a resting foot. Now, using the device, we measure it by the big toe. So, in a resting state, our model's left foot is size 8. Now, let's switch to a dynamic state. Our model needs to stand up, and we will see how walking changes her foot size. And at this point, her foot is size 9. So, in a walking state, feet get one size bigger, which means that, buying shoes, my model should go for size 9. This change is caused by longitudinal platypodia. If it wasn't for it, it would go only half a size up. Now let's measure her right foot too. In a resting state first. This foot is size 10. So the right foot is longer than the left one. And that's a common scenario. In a dynamic state, this foot is size 10 and a half. And that indicates that the model's left foot is way flatter. Now I suggest we check how the size changes if we put on socks. We've got two pairs of socks here. These black ankle socks are sizes 8 to 9. But our model's walking foot size is 10. So these socks won't do. I don't recommend you wear such ankle socks since they are too tight. And these white socks are sizes 5 to 8. So this won't do either. Because then they will stretch from size 5 to size 10. And that will feel too tight. So the sock size should match the foot size. The sock should be 100% cotton. And these particular ones are made with addition of polyamide or polyester. So these are not breathing. And I recommend you choose 100% cotton socks to avoid sweating and other negative consequences. Let's apply this sock to the foot. It ends at the fifth toe level. So, it will get pulled over the remaining length. The right foot is size 10. So, let's put on the sock and see if it changes. Look how in this sock, the model's foot got one size smaller. It is size 9 now. So, her toes are packed tight inside, which leads to deformation. Now, let's compare it to the ankle sock. Do you like manicure and nail extensions? If you do, join my new online course on nail sculpting from zero to pro and get your certificate. The course is available worldwide. For more information, click the link in the description box below. We'll put it on the same foot. Initially, it was size 10 and it got smaller in this ankle sock. So, despite the label saying that these socks are sizes 8 to 9, they make the foot a size and a half smaller. So, that's definitely a wrong fit. And when in dynamic state, a foot size gets even bigger, and this sock will tighten it even worse, which will result in a deformation. Now, let's take a look at the shoes the model's wearing. And the first indicator of quality in shoes is a removable insole. It can be easily replaced with an orthopedic one. Sometimes we can see toe prints on it while walking. And there should be some space left to the bottom of the insole. About 1 to 1 and a half centimeters. On some insoles, they mark a toe position. Same goes for choosing children's shoes. 
if a toe print is too close to the edge line. It means that it's time to get new shoes. So how do we know if a shoe size fits? Let's place the foot on the insole and check. Here there is almost no space left for the big toe. So this shoe fits by the width, but not by the length. And if the client stands up, we will see that the big toe touches the shoe wall. Let's check the other insole. And here the big toe does not even fit the insole. So only the shoe width fits here, and not the size. And now let's take a look at the shoe condition. The sole is correct, ascending towards the heel. It is made of polyurethane, so it's flexible. It is not too thick. The toe cap is pretty wide, so the foot is relaxed inside, but only if the length fits. As for the minuses, an ankle joint is not well fixed here, since this shoe is soft. There are shoelaces, but it still is not sturdy enough. So, a foot will move while walking, which can result in various deformations. We also know the height of a toe cap, bottom thickness, and a curve, and whether an ankle joint is well fixed. So, if you take all these factors into account, your shoes will last really long without causing any troubles. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful. And I wish you all success in your work. Bye-bye.